are back in the garage working on the S10 again today. And uh, we are finally swapping off this old 750. And we're putting on the 750 that came off the 383 actually. So the problem we were having with this one is the floats just kept sticking. And uh, just absolutely filling the engine with gas. So this one we know is good. The jetting is not going to be perfect, but it should be close enough to run. This is a 355, and it came off a 383, and it's jetted really well for that. So it should at least fire up and run pretty decent, and hopefully not drown the engine. We are going to have to pull our fuel log setup off this. This setup would have been nice to keep on there because it has the fuel pressure gauge right at the carb. But we do have a fuel pressure gauge on the hood right here, <laughs> which is the perfect spot for it. So we did just put brand new plugs in it. Well, brand new plugs in it. Good fresh plugs. And uh, yeah. We changed the plugs. <laughs> there we go. Better plugs. Yeah. Faster plugs. Stronger plugs. Yeah. Plugs that are designed to go fast make noise. <laughs> plugs that came out of an S10. Yeah. But uh, we tried to start it after that, and then the other carburetor just started absolutely diarrheaing the motor. So I'm a little worried that they're all flooded out now. Yeah, piss stream more than I do. Yeah. So if you missed the last video, possibly yesterday's video, we actually weighed this thing. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil it, but the results were very surprising. <laughs> this thing's basically a 383 now. Up here, both sides. And looks like the line. Yeah, these. Aren't exactly tight. Probably gonna have to reset the float levels now. What's that? Out of right here. Gosh dang carburetors. I don't know how, but somehow this is the carburetor's fault. Well, so far so good. I'll fire it up and see if that's what it is. Okay. It'll clear it up or not. Alright. Headphone users, beware. I think the plugs might still be super wet from the last carb. Yeah, cause, um, oh, I threw them away. Maybe this, maybe these ones you can see. Yeah, you, you can see on this one how wet it is. And the other side was even worse. This will let us know if we have spark. Yeah. It's sparking. Um, pull this plug and check it, I guess. Oh my god. So? <laughs> There's a lake inside it. Damn. <laughs> yeah. I've never pulled a plug and seen a literal pool of fuel in the end of it. So Herb from Michigan Muscle Car Garage heard we were working on a small block, so he couldn't help but come over. Uh, actually, he's going to be dropping off a single plane intake in the back here so that we can uh, get rid of the tunnel ram and try a single plane on it, see how it does. Okay. So as soon as he shows up, we'll probably keep working on the S10 and uh, see if we can get that thing running right.
Yeah, let's check the order and look at the valves, probably. Yeah, shut her, shut her down, yeah. Mike. Is that fucking water or what is that? Hard telling. Well, I just gave it a little bit more before you said to quit. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's right, it might. Try one more time. See if it fucking locks up and what we'll pull it back. Because it was almost touching the intake before I touched anything. Yeah, snapped. I don't think it ran this good last year. <laughs> oh yeah, it did. No, it did. Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> I can see the carburetor over there. That thing was a piece of shit the that whole time. That was snapping on your motor. That still yeah. got some. That's what needs to go on Jack Black with that intake. Oh, speaking of, with that one, I changed the ends on it because they were all fucked up. I, I, mean, I could build it at 850, but I was telling Josh that looks the the bowls look bigger than that looks tiny compared to that carburetor. Just for some reason, because it's got the milled horn or the the toilet. I call it the toilet bowl. Yeah, or it doesn't have but, the yep. shit. <clears throat> and you know, you got the changeable air bleeds. Where this old school stuff here, you can't change the air bleeds on these ones. They're just it is what it is. I've seen guys actually take paper clips and stuff yeah. and stick in there and you know try and get the. <laughs> Your fuel mixture down on your idle circuits. Oh. Because you can't change them out like that ones. But let me grab that intake right quick. Breathe it like that one. With a goddamn good carburetor, is going to make Jack Black sing. Oh, yeah. God damn. Man, that's a nice one. That's already yeah, got the yeah, provisions. 
I think it's going to work killer. I think so. Too. <clears throat> I'd put that carburetor on there to start it with until I get that 850 built. Because that one's already tuned in right now, ready to go. Ask them! Is it out of gas? That battery. What? That battery. Oh.